few years after I came to Roanoke, Virginia, that would have been October the 20th of um, 86. I don't know, if, just a few years later, there's, I was in the metro catching a bus downtown on Campbell Street, and a black reverend, I think he'd been away and he'd come back to Roanoke. His name was Spencer Mann. M-A-N-N. And he approached me at the bus station, um, a city bus, and um, he said to me, and I don't remember him ever speaking that much to me later when I ran into him, but he said to me, you're a million-dollar baby. They took what you love the most. Now then... Um, he he also added, he says, I'm a bishop. They can't get to me. So it's been like a game of chess. Um, they took my children, Mark and Scott, that I love more than anything in this world. They took what my father loved the most, and my mom. They took me. Then the grandchildren. They stripped them of everything. And it was done by this man that uh, they made a movie of. He and Elizabeth, his daughter, the second, illegal making them out to be the good guys when they're cold-blooded killers. My father never married Wallace Simpson. He married Claudia O'Keefe, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. I was born in 39, kidnapped in 41. This is 1939, <clears throat> and... Um, they're planning my kidnapping. Um, he's Jewish, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, Elizabeth's mother, George's, uh, the illegal George VI's wife, <clears throat> call the queen mom when she's not, is kin to the Rothschilds that all these people helped kidnap me and the Kennedys, Joe Kennedy. Um, to get rid of this man and defame him. How much pain he and my mom had to have endured. And there's people, people everywhere. And all I've known is the uh, earth crumbling under me, begging, being tortured. It's like a game of chess. And I have to hope the only chance I have is if there's God. Because all I did was tell the truth. Be bored. And I hope he gets them. I hope he brings my babies back. My mom and dad. And I hope he puts their hurts on these rotten bastards. Forever. <laughs>